I really never left Brooklyn, uh, I should say New York, until um, I got into the wrestling business. You know, when I was in ECW, uh, I remember taking my first flight, or second flight, because my first flight, I went to go visit uh, Florida with my parents. Hey, how you doing? That's can, can, can we just go on a date first before you do that? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just remember as a kid, I was six years old on my first flight and, you know, I, just enjoying it. But that was the last time I'd ever been on a flight. And I was like six years old when that happened. Oh. So and I didn't go back on a flight until I was like 25, 26. So I've got you into it. Well, I grew up watching wrestling. I was a wrestling fan, a wrestling fanatic. And uh, I just remember um, watching it and not understanding just two guys fighting each other. One big guy and one little guy. Mm -hmm. And I just remember it captivated me and it left me in awe when I saw it. And then all of a sudden, 1983, uh, 1982, I went to a movie theater and uh, I was a big Rocky fan. Mm -hmm. And I went to uh, see Rocky III. Huh. And uh, I was so stoked for the movie because I was a big Rocky Balboa fan. And then all of a sudden, you know, Mr. T comes on the scene and now I'm captivated by him. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, wow, this character is amazing. But then another character came, a six foot eight, 300 pound blonde individual called Thunderlips on the show, <laughs> which turned out to be Hulk Hogan. Right. And I knew I had seen him earlier on, but I just didn't know from where. And then all of a sudden, about a year later, he comes and fights the Iron Sheik in Madison Square Garden, wins the title, and Hulkamania is born. Right. From that point on, I wanted to be a wrestler. I had a, I had a um, four year scholarship to Florida A&M to what? play football. Oh. Um, loved football at the time, but then wrestling took precedence. And I remember my senior year, there was a whole lot of politics. My mother got remarried and left uh, Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And um, we moved to uh, New Rochelle, New York, which is a suburb of uh, New York before you get to upstate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just remember doing that and, and, and changing schools. Football never really... Like my senior year was, I thought it was a bad year, but I guess Florida A&M didn't think so. Mm. And they decided to offer me the scholarship. But then I found out about a wrestling school and then the rest is history. <laughs> mm.